Hello and welcome back to this channel. Today is January 1st, 2025, the first day in this new year. And so I would like to begin by saying Happy New Year to all of you guys who follow this channel. Happy New Year to those of you who are viewing this video. In case you are an applicant of the DB 2025 program, then my wish for you in this new year is that at the end of the day, you'll be issued one of the diversity visas on offer in the DV 2025 program. Now, let's go straight into things. In the last video, I said to you guys that this video will be a very important one because I will be introducing you to the SEAC data concerning the DV 2025 program. Now, you entered the diversity visa lottery and you were selected. Then, beginning in the month of October, interviews for the DV 2025 program commenced and applicants have been issued visas. Some of them have been refused visas. Some have been put on administrative processing and so on. So it is this data that we refer to as the SEAC data because the data is collected from the Consular Electronic Application Center for short, SEAC. All right, that's the abbreviation of Consular Electronic Application Center, SEAC. Now, the State Department has a SEAC website. It is on that website that you access and fill out your DS-260, for example. But what is, I would say, interesting is that the data in question is not displayed on that website. You need specialized technology and knowledge in order to access that data. So going over to the SEAC website, you will not be able to find the data that we are going to discuss beginning in this video. Thankfully, there is a former applicant of the diversity visa program, someone who got selected, who went through the process and who was successful and is now residing in the United States. He has decided to give back to the larger diversity visa program community by extracting the data from the SEAC website and publishing that data to his own website. He's called Zatitius. So from now on, whenever you hear me speak about Zatitius, it is this gentleman who extracts the SEAC data from the uh, official website, the State Department official SEAC website. He then publishes them to his own website. So in a moment, I'm going to take you over to the teacher's website so that we can see what the SEAC data is like, how he presents it on his website. Because beginning now, the 1st of January, up to the end of the DV 2025 program, you will need to access that data. Having said that concerning the SEAC data, now let's go over to Zatitius's website and have an overview of the presentation on that website. So this is Zatitius's website, the website where he publishes SEAC data concerning the diversity visa program. The address of the website is dvchats.zatitius, that's his name, dot xyz. Once you enter that address in your address bar, you will be taken to his homepage, which is this page that we are currently viewing. On the left side, we have DV Lottery Chats, and then below that, we have monthly DV issuances. Clicking on that is going to take you to the page that we visited in the last video that shows the monthly diversity visa issuances. For now, it is currently showing statistics for October 2024, which was the first month of interview in the DV 2025 program. As the DV 2025 program progresses, we will have the opportunity to see data concerning other months. The second section of this website 
is the annual DV issuances. That shows diversity visas that were issued out or are issued out during the specific fiscal years. As we saw earlier, data concerning issuances in the DV 2025 program is limited to the month of October, and as the program progresses, we will have the data concerning further months. That is followed by immigrant visa issuances by post. Now, this concerns the immigrant visas that are issued by different embassies. So, what you need to do here in case you are in need of such information is to enter the name of your embassy in this space. And once you do that, you will have the details concerning issuances of different forms of immigrant visas at your specific embassy. And then next we have the DV 2025 SEAC data. That is where our interest actually lies. Although you may visit the previous sections that we have covered, but this is where we will be accessing on this website on a regular basis because that is where we have the SEAC data for the DV 2025 program. So when you click on that, it takes you to this page where you have the summary table. What we have in this table is currently showing data for the DV 2025 program up to today, January 1st, 2025. Now, scrolling down just below this table, we have the SEAC data for embassies. All right, you only need to enter the name of your embassy in this space, and then this table will be populated with data concerning activities from interviews at your specific embassy. Scrolling down, we have the number of 2NLs or second notification letter, the letter that is sent out to applicants to invite them to their diversity visa interview. That is what is referred to as 2NLs. Here we have the number of 2NLs or interview notifications by embassy. So once again, you only need to type in the name of your embassy to see the details in this table. Next, we have how many cases there are before and after me. So this is a tool that needs a specific comment, and so I'm going to cover that in another video. That is followed by the DV 2025 Raw SEAC data. The data that we saw at the beginning of this page summarized in that table is provided here in detail. By clicking on this link, you will download the CSV file. That is something that we will cover in another video very soon. But just below that, you have this table that shows the status of all of the cases in the DV 2025 program. So more on the SEAC data and the different components of this website in videos that I will be publishing very soon. So that is it. That was intended to introduce you to the SEAC data concerning the DV 2025 program and also to share with you where you can access that data. Now, there are different aspects of the SEAC data that we do not have the time to cover in this video. So what I advise you to do is to look out and watch the videos that I will be making in the coming days so as to have a complete picture of all of the aspects of the DV 2025 SEAC data. But for now, that is all that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. See you very soon, God willing, in the next one. Until then, goodbye and once again, Happy New Year 2025.